Hello YouTube and welcome back to Luke Slow-Mo. Currently more and more mobile phones and action cameras are able to record in slow motion. So the question arises, would you still need to buy a slow motion camera to get slow motion footage? For example, the GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition can record up to 240 FPS at full HD. The new Samsung S20 will be able to record up to 960 FPS at 720p. That's super impressive and I bet you can have a lot of fun with that. Today I want to show you those high speed frame rates compared to the frame rates of a real high speed camera. Please keep in mind, since I do not own a GoPro 8 or the Samsung S20, I will shoot all those different slow motion frame rates with the Kronos 1.4. So I'm not comparing the image quality, just the slow motion effect you can get out of the different frame rates. And for that, the most frequently recorded process in slow motion will serve as a comparison test. A boring drop of water dripping into a container with even more boring water. But that's easy to adjust and the results always looks almost identical. This will make it easier to compare the individual footage later on. The order of the shots are as follows. First shot, 25 FPS. The playback is 25 FPS, so this is your normal real-time footage. I bet you never saw a drop of water falling into more water in real-time. Super exciting, I know. Second shot, 50 FPS. With the 25 FPS playback, this results in half the speed of the real-time. Third shot, 250 FPS. The GoPro can do 240, but because we will play it back at 25 FPS and 10 times slower sounds better than 9.6, we are giving 10 FPS to the GoPro, just for better comparison. Fourth shot, 1000 FPS. Same here, we assume that the S20 can do 40 more FPS to be able to say this is 40 times slower than real time instead of 38.4 or so. Fifth shot, 1500 FPS. Now we are coming to the point where the Kronos 1.4 shines the brightest, 60 times slower than real time at 720p. Next shot, we are cranking it up to 15000 FPS, 600 times slower than real time at a resolution of 320 by 266. And last shot, 40000 FPS. Just for fun, it will look crabby as hell. But at least we can say that this camera is able to create videos 1600 times slower than real time. I will now leave you alone with the footage so that you can form an opinion on this topic. Your own.
Finally, I have to say that the GoPro can record slow-mo in full HD, and many higher-end camcorders already can record in 4K up to 120 or even 240 FPS, and the resolution of the higher frame rates from the Kronos cameras are super low, so that all the footage compared side by side would more look like that. But only with a dedicated high-speed camera you are able to record slow motion footage over a longer period of time. Due to the huge amount of data that slow motion videos generate, the video can no longer be saved directly on the memory card. Instead, it's initially only saved on RAM and from there to the actual storage. This RAM is expensive and the better the high-speed camera and the higher the resolution, the more RAM you need. Hence the very high cost of high-speed cameras. And that's why mobile phones high-speed modes usually last for only one second or even less. The GoPro's high speed can be recorded until your memory is full, and with that price tag, this is a really good compromise between price and frame rate performance. On the other hand, the advantages of a dedicated high speed camera are interchangeable lenses, the possibility of recording in RAW format, significantly more manual options, and obviously, the much higher frame rate. And there are many things where even a thousand times slow motion still seems too fast. With this comparison, I hope I was able to give you an overview of what the different frame rates of different recording devices mean and what you can expect if you are choosing to buy one of these. If you have any more ideas what I should record next, feel free to leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and share this video. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you and until the next time. Thank you.